Tifo is delighted to offer 30-day free trials to read the work of our colleagues at The Athletic, the new home of football writing. Benfica have a number of strong prospects, of whom Ruben Diaz gets the most attention. Diaz has struggled against top-tier opposition, though, and may not be as good as is widely assumed. So our pick is six-foot defensive midfielder Florentino. Florentino is a screening midfielder with consistently strong defensive numbers. He makes 13.2 defensive actions per 90, sixth best of all the players we looked at, wins 69% of his 8.2 defensive duels per 90, and makes 5.3 interceptions per 90. Alongside this defensive job, he keeps play ticking over. Of his 54 passes per 90 on average, almost half are lateral. When he does try to push the ball forwards, though, he makes 7.7 .7 progressive passes at 85% accuracy and 6.4 passes into the final third at 88% accuracy. He occasionally dwells on the ball too long and he's not resistant to top-level pressing yet. It remains easy to force him to play backwards instead of dribbling or passing forwards to break the press. But that isn't Florentino's job. He's there to protect. Playing ahead of Diaz, he offers cover for when the centre-back pushes forwards. His positional awareness is good, and he has the athleticism to get back into position if Benfica are caught out. He's tenacious too, although his desire to win the ball back can occasionally leave him out of position. That's a temporary weakness though, and working on his discipline could quickly turn him into a better player. Florentino probably has the highest ceiling of players we've looked at, and could well turn into a top defensive midfielder for a top European side. Sporting have two excellent young defensive midfielders, Idrissa Dumbia and our pick, Wendell. He started his professional career at Fluminense and was linked with Paris Saint-Germain before a move to Sporting. He's been capped by Brazil at under-23 level and after a tricky start at Sporting has become a more crucial part of their midfield. He fell out with the club last season after travelling to watch a Champions League game without permission and there are rumblings about off-field issues, but he's a fine player. Wendell is more of a deep playmaker than a holding defensive midfielder and can play further up the pitch if required. Playing in a double pivot with Dumbia or on the left of a midfield three, he has the role of progressing the ball into more dangerous positions, while Dumbia does the dirty work. Wendell sees a lot of the ball, with an average of 57 passes per 90, which he plays at 94% accuracy. 24 of these are lateral, but this is because Sporting use their fullbacks to attack a lot in the wide areas, as the attacking unit tend to cluster centrally. He makes 8.4 final third passes at 87% accuracy and 6.9 progressive passes at 80% accuracy, both per 90. Wendell also chips in defensively, winning 59% of his 5.6 defensive duels per 90 and making 2.2 interceptions per 90. But this isn't his primary role. He keeps his team moving. He's very much a receive, pass, move kind of player who facilitates sporting moving up the pitch with his efficient use of the ball. He receives well under pressure and always looks to find space to offer an option again. If a team has plenty of attacking options, he's the kind of player who'll make sure they can retain possession until one of his more creative teammates can carve an opportunity. In short, a very useful player to build a midfield around, who could probably play a slightly more attacking role for a different side. Left-footed inside forward Marcus Edwards was allowed to leave Tottenham Hotspur, but his performances for Vittoria Guimaraes this season have really caught the eye, and he may well make a bigger move this summer. He has seven goals and five assists from just over 2,000 minutes played this season, at 0.25 goals per 90 and 0.19 assists per 90. Both of these stats are overperforming his expected goals and assists per 90 though, which is worth noting. Edwards is a dynamic carrier of the ball, with 8.2 dribbles per 90 at 49% success and 2.6 progressive runs per 90. That's about one action per 90 less than Trincao, the highly rated Braga winger who's off to Barcelona this summer. His low centre of gravity, he's lifted at 5'5", means he can hold defenders off, and his quick feet and ability to cut in off the flank affords him shooting opportunities. He's a good creative passer too. Edwards' 2.1 deep completions per 90 is the fourth best in the league of players we looked at. He's excellent at stabbing short passes through onto running players, often carrying the ball in towards the goal at an angle and then sending the pass back across the angle of his run behind the defence. This dual threat of shooting and passing makes Edwards tough to defend against. Give him room and he can shoot, close him down and you leave space behind for a through ball. 
Edwards is an exciting young player, fun to watch and capable of good attacking output, even if his size might work against him in certain leagues. Costa is not the young Portuguese keeper getting league minutes at the moment. That's Luis Maximiano of Sporting, a 6 foot 3 stopper who's played 13 league games. But Maximiano has conceded 14 goals from an XG of 12.8 with a fairly poor 71% safe percentage and looks like he has work to do. Diogo Costa, on the other hand, has looked very assured in outings for both the senior and reserve sides and has the makings of an excellent modern goalkeeper. Standing at 6 foot 1 inch and a half, Costa is short for a modern top level keeper but looks assured aerially, regularly getting good distance with his punches and being unafraid to throw himself into contests. His anticipation of through passes is good and his technique looks reliable, gathering the ball into his chest firmly and only very rarely not making a clean catch or take. He has a tendency to swing his arms behind him prior to leaping, which could cause issues if reaching for balls in the corner of the goal, but he gets good elevation for a shorter keeper and his reflex saves can be exceptional. If he has a weakness, it's one-on-ones when the ball breaks close to his goal, although it's hard to judge many of the goals he's conceded as being missed opportunities to make a save. Where Costa really excels, and why he's a modern keeper, is his distribution. With 8.5 progressive passes and 2.8 final third passes per 90, he gets the ball forwards well. These stats are first and fourth for all Liga Nos keepers, not just the ones we've looked at. He's very capable of starting quick counter-attacks with lovely long throws or arrowed kicks, but he rarely wastes possession, happy to play it short if the opportunity isn't on for a deeper clearance. He plays with a high starting position but doesn't look flustered when pressured by opposition players and, while right-footed, is also relatively comfortable with the ball on his left. Costa is a technically good keeper with excellent reflexes and distribution. While not as robust or as tall as some, for teams that favour possession football and count the keeper as a key element in retaining possession and starting counter-attacks, Costa would be an excellent signing. Lastly, and perhaps the player with the lowest ceiling on our list, is Tony Martinez. The Spanish striker, who's represented La Rioja at youth levels, spent three years at West Ham United, making just three cup appearances, but has nonetheless re-established himself at FC Famalicao as one of Liga Nos' best striking prospects. He's scored eight non-penalty goals at an XG of 0.47 per 90, sixth of players aged 23 or younger in the league, but he's put up significantly more minutes than any of those, with a better XG per 90. He's second of the players we looked at for total shot volume, 11th for shots per 90, and he's on target almost 50% of the time. Martinez is predominantly right-footed, but can score with his left as well, and his finishing is strong in one-on-ones and from acute angles. Despite having an oddly hunched running style, he's fairly quick, and his movement in the box is intelligent, which, coupled with a good positional sense, makes him dangerous close in. He also excels in the air, winning almost half of his 7.6 aerial duels per 90 despite only being 5 foot 11. Martinez's link-up play can be unpredictable on the floor, but for teams looking for a striker to win the ball in the air, then spin off and break forwards for a strong penalty box presence, he is worth considering. He's a hard-working presser, too, and capable of scoring on the break carrying the ball, all factors which make him attractive, particularly to managers employing a counter-attacking approach. It's Scouting Week at TIFO, and to celebrate, we're offering 30-day free trials to The Athletic, where you can really get under the hood of your team. With dedicated journalists for every Premier League team and correspondents for La Liga, the Bundesliga and Serie A, not to mention hundreds of journalists for 10 other sports, there is no better place to read comprehensively about your favourite teams. See the link in the description to sign up for free now for 30 days and join TIFO at The Athletic.